Okay, this week we're on section 2.5. The Bible teaches us how to live. So when we make choices on our own without God's guidance and help, we often sin and cause problems that could hurt ourselves and others. We need to listen to God's instruction for life in his word, since God knows what's best for everyone. So there are a couple things I wanted to review real quick. Sin is anything we say, do, or think that pleases, that displeases God or is against his many commandments in the Bible. And it's also things that we know we should do, but we don't do. So things that we know that God would want us to do, but we don't do. And the reason we need to listen to God's instruction for life and his word is because he knows what's God knows what's best for everyone. How does God know what's best for everyone? He created us. No one knows you or me better than God because he created us. Because he created us, he loves us, and he knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows what's best for us in our lives. The first step in following God or having God's instruction for your life is to trust Jesus Christ as Savior. God's plan is for you to have a relationship with him. This is only happens if you trust Jesus as your Savior. In other words, if you trust in Jesus for eternal life. What I'd like you to do is look up and read Romans 10.9. I want you to answer this question. What are the two things you must do to be saved? Or, in other words, to have eternal life. So, please stop the video at this point. Okay, so let's look at what Romans 10.9 has to say. Romans 10.9 says, Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So the answer to our question, what are the two things you have to do in order to have eternal life, is one, you have to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. You have to believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. This is a very personal decision. If you'd like to do this, you can stop the video and do this right now. You can do this praying with someone else, or you can do this uh, praying by yourself. I did this when I was 16. I think I explained this in an earlier video. I just got on the side of my bed and I asked, said, told Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you were raised from the dead, that you died on the cross and you were raised from the dead to to die for my sins. And Jesus, I want you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. No one was there. Um, but I felt an immediate change in my life once I did that. After I asked Jesus into my heart, I was able to read scripture verses better, and I felt a sense of direction for my life. So if you haven't done this, I would really encourage you to do this. This is the most awesome thing I think you can do in your life, but it is a personal decision, and I don't want to put pressure on you. If you do this this week, could you let your parents know, or Pastor Brian Mrs. Sandy or me or Mr. Chris now. All right. Thank you so much. So let's go to the next slide. The Bible is where we find God's instruction for living. If we follow God's instruction in the Bible, we'll make good choices to obey him and we will stay away from things that displease him or things that separate us from him, which is called sin. We need to store God's instruction in our hearts. Reading, studying, and memorizing the Bible will keep your way pure. And we're going to run into a Bible verse we talked about last week. All right, do you guys remember this from section 2-3, which was the last lesson I taught? It's Psalm 119.11. I have stored up your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. So Psalm 119.11. 11, I've stored up your word in my heart, allows us to ask several questions. Why is it important to know God's instructions for us? Why is it important to study and memorize God's word? How will knowing this impact your next week and beyond? What are some things you can do right away to start learning God's instructions for your life? So I'd like you to review these lessons, discuss these with a parent, if they're in the room with you, and then we'll, we'll talk about these.
Okay, so let's go over these application questions. Why is it important to know God's instructions for us? Well, God created us. God created you and me. He knows us better than we know ourselves. If we want to live a life that has purpose and a life that that pleases Him, we need to know His instructions for us. Why is it important to study and memorize God's Word? Well, Psalm 119.11 gives us one of the reasons, so that we cannot sin against Him. And number two, so we can follow His guidelines for our life, so we can make the decisions that please Him. And finally, how will knowing this impact your next week and beyond? What are some things you can do right away to start learning God's instructions for your life? Well, I'll just answer this simply. One of the things you can start is by spending some time every day reading His Word. And it doesn't have to be a whole book of the Bible. It can be several verses. It can be, you can start by reading John and going through the book of John, reading maybe a chapter at a time or a couple verses at a time. Um, another thing you can do is to memorize God's Word. Another thing you can do is by continuing with these lessons. I think this is one of the best ways to learn more about God's Word and God's instructions is Awana and the Awana program. It's an awesome program. So in summary, the Bible is where we find God's instructions for living. If we follow God's instructions in the Bible, we will make good choices to obey Him and we'll stay away from sin. We need to keep reading, studying, and memorizing the Bible so God's instructions will be stored in our hearts. This will help us stay away from sin. It will help us to follow God's path for our life and to avoid making choices that push us farther away from Him rather than draw Him closer to us. We need to be close to Him because He's the creator of our lives. He knows what's best for us. Apart from Him, there is no meaning in this life, I don't think. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.